Doop, 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 doop. Won't you be mine? Won't you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? Hello, neighbors. I was just out trudging around with my snowshoes on, and now I'm changing into my flip flops, otherwise known as sandals. You know, Jesus wore sandals like this. Well, these were in Hawaii. Jesus didn't go to Hawaii. He was from uh, Jerusalem and Israel and the whole Middle East area. Welcome to our midweek Wednesday update. I'm so glad you all can join me on this Wednesday midweek update. We're going to kick things off with a very special guest. Hey! You know, I'm so glad that it's here. It's midweek, and midweek rhymes with orange. No, it doesn't, Hootsie. But we just had our Easter Sunday, and I hope you guys all had a great time. I know I did. Did you have a good time, Hootsie? Woo! I had fun making sure all those kids had a great Easter egg challenge, and challenge rhymes with orange. No, it doesn't. All right, Hootsie, we had a couple more submissions that came in, and I heard that you've got them ready to go so that we can see these extra egg challenges that we didn't get to see on Easter Sunday. That is correct. And by the way, Hippopotamus rhymes with orange. We're not even talking about hippopotamuses, we're talking about Easter. Well, no matter how you look at it, we've got two more videos to show you. Okay, Hootsie, who sent in this first video? Woo! A person by the name of Runner, he caught an Easter egg. I hope it doesn't have spikes on it, because that would hurt his hands. Me too. Let's watch this first video. Yo, wait a minute. This is an Easter egg. Man, that's pretty good. And it's another egg. My duck! No! I disapprove. What do you mean you disapprove? He didn't want to share his duck. Well, that was his duck we got for Easter. He needs to share. Okay, you're probably right. What about this next video, Uzi? Woo! Have you ever looked at a bucket? Because bucket rhymes with orange. <sighs> no, it doesn't. All right, let's watch the video. Woo! I know it's somewhere over here. that was? Nope. That was Rat. Hi, Rat. That was such a great video you made there. I found it disgusting. Disgusting? Yep. You never know what's in that bucket. Well, I'm pretty sure there was nothing disgusting in that bucket. His parents would have done that to poor old Rat. Oh, no, I took a picture of it. Oh, I'm afraid to know. We'll see you next time on Hootsie's Video of the Week Reviews. Who can tell me from last Sunday what card the great Zamboni pulled out of the pile? Who can tell me that? Huh? Yes? Maybe so? Was it the Three of Hearts? A little trick I learned from the great Zamboni. Who can also tell me what Bible story we learned about? You got it. When Peter denied Jesus three times. Now, Peter denied Jesus three times. Peter had to feel pretty terrible about that. Because we talked about Peter was not willing to give up something that he held precious, and that was his security, his safety, his life. But what Peter didn't understand is that by sacrificing the thing that you love for the greater good to help other people, then you get something far more than what you're holding on to. Kind of like holding on to a very small balloon. 
So going back to Peter, kids, when Peter denied Jesus three times and chose not to sacrifice, it's like he was holding on to the to his comfort and his own life, his own safety and security. He kinda wasn't like, ready to sacrifice. Right. Kind of like holding on to this little, it's like having a little balloon here. It's like you're holding on to this thing as if this is something really, really great. But when you choose to let Jesus be Lord of your life, you get so much more. So much more than this little tiny balloon. When you choose to let Jesus be Lord of your life, it's going to require sacrifice and it's definitely going to require you to be a little uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. I'm about to make us really uncomfortable. You guys will be safe at home because you're watching through the screen. The screen will protect you. But when you choose to let Jesus be Lord of your life, it's like having a much bigger balloon. What are you doing? I'm going to blow this thing up until it literally pops or we have to pop it because this thing's going to get like really, really massive. So let's go ahead and play some music while I pump this thing up. Oh, yeah. actually, you know what? We should put on some protective sunglasses just in case so we don't go blind. All right, here we go. And start music now. And that is what sacrifice feels like. Don't do that at home, kids. That literally nodded my head. What Peter didn't realize was that if he would have gave up the thing that he was holding on to, he would have gotten something far greater. What he actually ended up getting from holding on to his own life was a lot of disappointment and regret. You will never regret sacrificing for the people around you. Uh, Jesus, though, so amazing, the Son of God, you see, he, that wasn't the end of the story. When Peter denied Jesus three times and was felt so disappointed, Jesus knew. And when Jesus rose again on the third day and he came back and, they, and he was visiting the disciples, listen to what Jesus did. This is found in the book of John, chapter 21, verse 15. This is how great Jesus is. So when they had eaten breakfast, Jesus said to Peter, Simon, son of Jonah, that was also Simon Peter, that was his name. Do you love me more than these? And he said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. And he said to him, Feed my lambs. And he said to him again a second time, Simon, son of Jonah, do you love me? And he said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. And, and he said to him, Tend my sheep. Then he said to him a third time, Simon, son of Jonah, do you love me? Now Peter was grieved because he said to him the third time, Do you love me? And then he said back to Jesus, he said, Lord, you know all these things. You know that I love you. And he was probably feeling a little like sad because he was wondering, why does Jesus keep asking me this? Maybe it's because I denied him, but I did all this stuff with Jesus. I don't, I don't understand why he's asking me this. And then Jesus said, feed my sheep. Most assuredly, I say to you, when you were younger, you girded yourself and walked where you wished. And when you were old, you will stretch out your hands, reach and another will gird you and carry you where you do not wish. This he spoke, signifying by what death he would glorify God. And when he, had, when he had spoken this, he said to him, follow me. You see, what Jesus did is he restored Peter. He gave him purpose. He, he gave him back the thing that Peter felt like he missed out on. And he, the reason he did it three times was to signify the three times that Jesus denied, or that Peter denied Jesus. Jesus got him off the hook and said, Peter, you say you love me, and I know that, Then feed my sheep. And, and the sheep, by the way, are all the other people in the world that need to hear the good news. So I wanna encourage you, before even this Sunday, look around at the, neighbor, at the neighbors that you have, at the friends that you have, and ask yourself, how do I sacrifice for these people? How do I make their life better? How do I let them know that not only do I love them, but there's a God who loves them too? Side note. Uh, we are doing a video this Sunday called the world's giantest, giganticus, humongous virtual hug. Here's how it works. I need you guys to get your parents to send me a video of you guys simply going like this, taking your hands and reaching out both sides so that your hands disappear and doing this. And in doing so, we're going to put all of these videos together to make the world's largest virtual hug. Why? I miss you guys and I think there's a lot of people out in the world that need a big hug like this. Come here. It's gonna be okay. Just shh.